Hey, my man, how's it going? This is a this is a deadly island. I added a ton of mods. There's uh these these swamps that are just full of vicious piranhas. Look at this. There's like an alligator or something. This thing. Ooh. Bloodthirsty great white sharks that swim all around the coast. Yeah, rattlesnakes. You don't want to step on a guy like this. Not to mention the storms. Oh my god, the to tornadoes. Okay, these things touch down and rip the island apart. And there's a giant volcano that's ready to erupt at any moment. The locals call this island Isla Ungabunga. And I, I'm going to Isla Ungabunga, where I will remain and survive for 100 days. I just, I just came up with that right now. Hey, if you want to visit the beautiful Isla Ungabunga or whatever I call it, you can, uh, you can come too. Yeah, they've made this whole thing in World Painter. It's a, it's a beautiful, absolutely beautiful tropical island with a. Uh, a big volcano, a bunch of caves, uh, uh, mysteries, secrets, all sorts of stuff. It's, it's good. And I know what you're thinking. You can, I don't know where any of this stuff is, okay? I auto-generated all the resources and caves and everything, so I, 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 I don't know where diamonds are, I don't know where coal is, I don't know where any of that stuff is. This world's available for download uh, on my Patreon, so it's, it's a way for me to give you something for supporting me. Well, I really appreciate it. You guys are, you guys are crazy, you know? I've listed all the mods and linked to them in the, in the video description, so if you want to download them for yourself and play on this map, yeah, you can, no problem. Again, big thanks to my man Luke the Notable for giving a man like me permission to, to put a twist on his original idea. Hey, and one last thing, if you want to subscribe to uh, my channel, wow, that would make a man like me very happy. I'm so close to 1 million subscribers. That's, uh, that would be crazy, you know? And uh, hey, if you want to leave a comment saying something like, wow, I, uh, I completely support your decision on day 8, and uh, it was not your fault on day 62. That would, that would be a very funny comment to leave. Leave that one specifically, okay? That's, yeah, that one's good. Okay. Now, it's time for me to head into the unknown and uncover the secrets of Isla Unga Bunga. Okay, here we go. First day. Uh, it wasn't great. It was not. It was not good at all. It was. I was already running into problems. Who the hell are these guys? This is supposed to be- oh, what the- this, These guys are shooting me! Yeah, wow, that was- that's good, you know? I, I, all I wanted was a nice- a nice deserted island for me to- me to enjoy, you know? No other people, and, uh, first thing I see is a nice pack of men. A bunch of them, and, they, and these guys almost smoked me, too. First 15 seconds of the game, and I'm almost dead. I guess these guys are hunters or something like that. They, they must be here hunting the beautiful wildlife. And look at this, I found, like, a, an eagle right away. Oh, look at this! A harpy eagle. Look at him fly! Oh my god, hello my man! Okay, so I ran straight into the bush immediately towards what I thought was the island's volcano. I know in survival situations they say water, shelter, food, uh, but when you're, when you're faced with a giant volcano like this, you go to the volcano, okay? So that's exactly what I did. Straight to the top. Oh my god, look at that, there's a rhino down there. The view was good. I mean, look at this. It was, it was, I was feeling good about this good until, uh, number one, I realized that, uh, th this wasn't the volcano. No. That, that was the volcano. Oh. That's the volcano. And two, uh, it turns out they say water for a reason because I was a very thirsty man, so straight back down I went. Oh, my crab man. How's it going? Hello, 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 crabs. Hello, hello, hello. Ah, oh, you pinched me if I get too close, alright. Ran over to the ocean and, uh, got a big old gulp of salt water, you know? Good old, good old salt water, they say it's, uh, it fixes a man's thirst right up. Anyways, there, there was no time to waste, I had already spent half of my first day of just doing nothing, you know? Running up a stupid volcano, and, uh, I needed to find shelter. Problem was, was that I needed a pickaxe, and one of the mods in the pack prevents me from breaking trees, so I had to first gather flint. Uh, I got that, and then I needed to get a stick, so boom, I got that too. Put those two together, and I, I had a flint knife. I used that bad boy to uh, get plant fibers, which I then turned to string, uh, then plus another wood shard, and you know what? I, I got the hatchet, okay? It took a while, but I, I got a hatchet. Man can't just break down tree with his hands anymore, you know? You gotta, you gotta really work for it. So I did all that, and I got a little bit of wood, uh, but then a, a big problem. A storm rolled in. And you know what? I was a man who was not prepared for a storm. No, not on my first day I wasn't. 
the goddamn storm started blowing me around like a like a plastic bag. I was just being knocked around. I had to, I had to really push hard to get into my house. Next thing I know, there, there's a tornado down on the beach, okay? This thing is- this thing is swirling around, picking up every- look at this! It, it picked up a crab or something like that, or a shark. Swirling it around in the air. I just sat back in my little dirt hole and- and watched it all happen. It was- wow. Didn't have a bed, so I just sat there all night. And when the morning came, I was a very hungry man. So the first thing I did was I got out of that shelter and walked out on the beach and took a look at the damage that the uh, tornado had done. There was a bunch of, like, dead fish and stuff everywhere, which was great for me, so I picked all that stuff up and, uh, killed some crabs and got some crab legs. These guys, yeah, these guys were everywhere, these little crabs running around. I spent pretty much the entire day getting food and wood, because, uh, it was the two things that I was gonna need the most. The other thing I was gonna need was a bed, so I got more plant fibers, converted those bad boys into, uh, some string. From the string it became wool, and then from the wool it became a bed, so I could, could sleep through the night, you know? Day three, I, uh, I made a boat. I started to sail, see, uh, see if I could find anywhere to live. Didn't, uh, at first, I didn't really find anything besides these, these sharks, you know? You see something like that, it makes, a, makes a man a little bit nervous. Uh, I kept sailing and eventually I found what, what could have been a nice spot, uh, but before going further, I made it an iron saber and a shield, because uh, you, you don't know what's out here, you know? I killed some crabs and uh, I built an impromptu shelter by like digging a hole underneath the, the sand. A tree, like, 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 dug out the roots or something like that and, and crawled into there. It wasn't a great shelter, but, uh, you know, it would work for now. Okay, the next day, uh, I need more wood, so I went out looking for some, and, uh, oof. That's why, that's why I saw it. I saw another poacher. There's another one of these guys, man. These guys? Not good. Not good seeing these guys walk around with their guns. I guess they're just there killing, killing a lot of stuff, you know? Killing all the beautiful wildlife. I mean, let's just look at these little birds right here. So I avoided that guy because I wasn't going to get smoked by one of these guys. And I just spent the rest of the day getting wood. I got a bunch of it, went back to where I was living, underneath that tree, and put up a bunch of torches. It was... I didn't want any bad boys walking around this tree at night. Keep keep me safe underneath the... underneath the roots. Yeah, but then a... Then another storm rolled in. Another one, okay? So I thought, you know what, maybe if I go to bed, the storm will just pass and I'll, I'll be fine. I'll wake up, it'll be a nice clear day. No, that is not what happened at all. That was... No, 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 no. I woke up to the sound of a, a tornado touching down, and when I looked outside of the shelter, it looked, uh, yeah, that tornado was coming right for me. Look at this fly. This man got sucked away. So I just ran. I ran across the beach, got away from my shelter, and I just, I just waited for the tornado to pass. And after it finally did, I went back and, whoa, whew, everything was gone. My shelter was sucked away, my stuff was sucked up, the fly was gone, Every, everything was gone. No idea where I went, just sucked a thousand feet into the sky and launched. So I said, you know what, I'm, I'm not staying here, not a chance in hell. So I, I got what little I had, walked across the beach and just, just left this area to find somewhere else. I ended up settling on this mountain face right here, because I thought, you know what, there's, no, there's not a chance in hell a tornado is going to be able to suck up a mountain, right? So I dug my way in and uh, set up a furnace and started cooking some crab legs. This is this is where I was gonna build. Okay, the next morning I went out and gathered some flint for arrows. Uh, I needed a way to protect myself. I made an iron pickaxe and started to briefly mine into the mountain. Okay, day seven. Uh, I, I didn't do much. I, I I explored a little bit and I gathered some wood. Uh, I also did a little bit more mining and look look at this. I, f I found this guy in the cave. What is that? Werewolf. Yeah, I, I don't remember adding a werewolf mod in, uh, but I guess there's werewolves on this island now, and that's, uh, yeah, I love that. So I mined all night long, and I got a ton of iron. I was feeling real good about this. I had a, like, I had a ton of it, okay? A lot. So I was feeling good, feeling like things were finally coming together, and, uh, that, <laughs> I walk outside of my shelter, and guess what happens? Again. Oh my god! I finally understood what the poachers were- they weren't here hunting animals. They were hunting the ultimate game. Man. Specifically me. These guys were hunting me, and this man right here, who's sitting up on top of my house, he laid me right out. Now, you might have noticed that the game was on hardcore. Okay? I had every intention on doing this challenge in hardcore, but, you know what, I, I didn't want to start over, and frankly, you know what, I, I don't care, alright? 
These guys weren't even supposed to be on the goddamn island, and somehow there were hundreds of them. Uh, everywhere I looked, these guys were walking around. So you know what? Here, here's what I did. I restored a backup, switched the game mode to survival, destroyed all the stuff that I had on me, and I put my character here. Look, locked in a cage. Let's just say the poacher shot me with a, a tranquilizer dart or something like that, okay? I don't want to see a single goddamn person in the comments saying that this isn't right, okay? N not a single one. In, in fact, you know what? I want you to write a comment that says, Wow. Good thing the poacher didn't kill you. You got out of that one barely, okay? Write something like that instead. Okay. I will not die a second time. I, I, I promise you I will not die a second time. Impossible. Okay, with that out of the way, so I, I woke up in this cage, right? Yeah, that's, that's what happened. And, uh, through the bars, I could see that there were some animals in cages outside or something, and the, there was a guard walking around. There was a bed, and I slept in it because I didn't want to run out of this house in the dark and get smoked by a skeleton or anything like that. Okay, so the next day, who, whoever, whoever the idiot is that built this cage, uh, they're, they're stupid, because, look at this, the floor's made out of sand. So you know what, I just, I just dug out of there. And I walked over to the front door and looked out the window and the, the poacher was gone. That was not intentional. That man was supposed to still be there. This was supposed to be a part where I was going to like fight him. Uh, but I guess he despawned, so I didn't want to fix it. That's just how it is. So I walked out of the house and uh, went out to the main cages and took a look around and wow, look at all these animals trapped in cages. Not good. Couldn't leave these guys like this. So you know what I did? I, I went around and I released all of them, including the shark. Which, you know what? In retrospect, probably wasn't the best idea. I, mean, I probably killed that shark. Anyways, the poachers had also captured some villagers, uh, and put them in this underground cage thing, which sucks for them, but you know what? I'll rescue them later. Okay, so uh, after that, I, I dug out of the camp and just ran into the jungle as fast as I could to get out of there. Ran straight into a swamp that was full of piranhas. Oh, they go for me. Oh my god. Here's what I don't understand. Okay, you know piranhas? These things don't attack people. Most piranhas aren't actually carnivorous. Only a few, only a couple of them are. Only a couple of them are interested in meat. And of those, none of them attack humans. River monsters prove that, okay? So I don't know why these guys were trying to attack me. So it took me all day, but eventually I found my house, and uh, that poacher, I guess, went inside and looted my chest, so all of my stuff was gone. But you know what he didn't take? He did not take my furnace, which was full of all that iron I found, so that was good. I was very, very happy to have that, and I made armor and, uh, went to bed. The next day, I went out and, uh, I had to resupply yet again, so I got crab legs, wood, and other stuff. Nothing interesting happened at all this day. Day 11. It was similar, except this time, I, I just did it underground. I mined and I got a, more iron. The next day, I spent a ton of time getting flint again for arrows, uh, and I crafted an iron halberd. Uh, these things? Wow, these things are- these things are deadly. Water was becoming an issue. I- I couldn't venture far from the house without having to turn back shortly after to get some. I guess that's, that's what happens when you- you drink salt water all day. And I know what you're thinking, yeah, you could just, yeah, get the bucket, purify the water. And you know what? I did that. It's not worth the effort at all. It takes way too long to do it and you only get, like, a tiny little bit extra water. It's not worth it. And yes, I tried to make an infinite water source. A purified water, so don't- it doesn't work. Don't- don't- I don't see any comments about that either. Instead, what you can do is you can- you can get water filters and make a canteen, so... Uh, that, that was something I put on the to-do list, but I- more importantly, I needed a bunch of cobblestone for my shelter, so I went back to mining. The next day, I made more iron pickaxes so I could mine for longer, and I spent the entire day mining. But I found- look at this! Three diamonds. Finger, there we go. God damn, finally diamond, baby. I had no idea what I was going to do with them, but yeah, I I went back up and uh, it was night. And I had a ton of cobblestone. Okay, I was very hungry on day 15. I woke up the hungriest man in the world. This was a problem for a couple reasons, okay? Because this was such a beautiful island. I didn't want to be a man here killing a bunch of animals, you know? Just wanted to let them be. I was fine with killing crabs because of crabs. Who cares? They'll walk around with little, little legs in a shell. Doesn't matter. But at some point, you know what? You gotta say, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill one extra animal. Because the crab meat just wasn't cutting it for me anymore. So I went out and I found a pygmy hippo. Otherwise known as the hexa pod on live. Why did I write this in the script? It's an, it, I got some facts here about it. It's an endangered species native to the forest and swamps of West Africa. The bulk of their diet consists of ferns, broad... I'm not, I'm not reading this. Why is that... A, Anyways, I killed the hippo, took him down, took the man right down, got his meat. It was good meat. It was good, good to do this. 
And right after that, look at this. I found a sloth. I loved this man. How's it going, my man? I will not eat you. Not a chance I'll eat you. I'm just hanging out. How's it going? Yeah, I wanted this guy. I, I wanted him badly. So I went home, figured out how to make a lead, uh, made one, came back, attached it to him, uh, and then brought him home. This man was moving fast. Look at this. Look at those little sloth arms go. Come on in. Hell yeah. So I got the guy home, and uh, it was time to name him. I, I forget what I named him. Let's see. Let's hear. We're going to name you, um, Labo? Nabo. Labo Nabo. Ah, cool. Named after Nintendo Cardboard. There you are. Okay, so the next morning, I wanted more animals, so I busted out my parrot egg. Didn't even remember getting this or where I got- you know, it doesn't matter. I had a parrot egg now, so, uh, I was gonna use it. I placed it down, and like, a couple seconds later, I hatched a parrot, and hell yeah, look at him. Then it dawned on me. You can't keep a- you can't keep a parrot in a cave. No, I gotta- I gotta relax. I gotta- I gotta build a house first. I can't be- I can't be making all these creatures live in this small little cave. I- I, I need- I need to- I need to expand. Okay, day 17. I did not do much. I was walking around, and, uh... I saw something in the distance by my house. A pirate ship. How many people are on this goddamn island? It, I was- it was- Why is there a pirate ship out there? I did- I never added a pirate mod. But there's one out there for some reason. I didn't build that. That was not- I wanted to go explore it, but I knew- I knew there was gonna be... Probably some bad boys on it, so I thought it's something I would- I'd figure out later on. Okay, if I was gonna make a canteen, I needed sugar cane, because I needed a uh, paper to make filters. And drink more salt water, so, uh, I went out looking for it. I saw the island across me was looking pretty cool, so I, I decided to go over there, see if there's some sugar cane on that island, and, uh, I got there. There's a ton of animals, okay? These things were walking around everywhere, and I was thinking, you know what? I'm a man who's a little bit hungry, so maybe if I just kill one more. One or two more, you know? Not so bad. And plus, I need leather anyways, so it, it was fine. So I killed a horse, got the leather, and uh, ate the horse meat, and it made me very sick. You don't eat horse meat. Oh my god, I shouldn't have eaten that horse. Oh my god. Oh my god, I should not have eaten the horse. I found some sugar cane, and uh, I got on my boat and started heading back, but on my way home, my uh, my boat was attacked by piranhas. They don't care. Oh wait, they're coming for me! Yeah, they're coming for my boat! Yeah, I love that, you know? Little, little These little guys biting at your boat, trying to take you down. Uh, anyway, so when I got home, I got my... I you know, got my canteen and I planted my sugar cane. I put it down in patches because, you know, I was still thinking about the tornado coming in. Sucking up all the sugar cane and launching it across the island somewhere. So I put it in patches so that if a tornado did come, it hopefully wouldn't get all of it. Day 19. I was getting real sick of the cave. And uh, I guess so was Flynap or whatever I named him. He tried to get out. Look at this. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Nice try, my man. This guy's trying to fly outside. You'll get, you'll get to come outside eventually, just not now, okay? So I, I needed to build something. It was almost day 20 and I was still in a cave. But that meant getting more wood. So I spent the entire day getting a ton of wood. Next morning, I woke up to wind blowing. Yeah, I love hearing that, you know? Makes me think that a tornado is about to come down. So when I walked outside, I saw the leaves blowing around and I got very, very, very nervous. I was ready to see all my sugar cane go away, but thankfully, no storm came. So I left out of the house, went up into the mountains and started looking around for a place that I could build my new shelter. And, uh, wow, I got very distracted because I saw something just, just absolutely amazing when I was up there. Crab in a boat. Look at that. This man just got right in the boat. Hell yeah, I was very excited, so I ran right off the island, straight over to the boat, and started taking a look at him. Like, look, look at this good little guy getting in the boat. Who doesn't love a man like this? Only problem was, was that, like, if I tried to get in the boat, it started pinching me. So I decided to build him a little shelter, because I gotta, I gotta protect this man, and I realized as I was doing that, as I was building a little cobblestone house for him, very similar to another man, you know? Another man who I tragically lost in a very, very similar way. So I named this man Crab a Tutu, in his honor. Okay, so the next day, I finally started building my shelter. My plan was to build a big attached platform to the side of the mountain, and then make these giant windows that overlooked the distant island and ocean. And it was gonna look real good, okay? I was gonna be a man living, living in luxury. That was my plan. So I started with uh, cobblestone trim to get the shape, and then I filled the floor in with uh, wood planks. Okay, the next day I was back at work, you know, and uh, I didn't want this—I didn't want this platform to be like floating off the side of the mountain. I thought that would have looked really stupid. So I got a bunch of wood again and made this giant wooden pillar, which cost a lot. It was real expensive, but you know what? It looks looks good, so it was fine. 
Getting up and down from the shelter was kind of annoying though, and uh, I'm not I'm not very good at the game, so I kept falling and breaking my legs trying to get up and down quickly. I wasn't really worried about making a staircase, but you know what? I sh I should have been, because I didn't build one until like day 90, and my God, was it annoying. I, I spent so much time climbing up. I should have built the staircase here. I should have stopped building the shelter and made a staircase. I'm kind of annoyed about that, to be honest. Okay, the next day I went to my farm and I uh, got some sugar cane so that I could make some filters for the water. So I could stop drinking salt water, even though it probably still would be salt water. Yeah, it absolutely would still be salt water if you put it through a filter. Or maybe not. I don't know. It worked in the game and that's that's what matters. Uh, Flynap made a, another escape attempt. No, no, no. This man, this man really wanted out of the cave. Hey, the house is coming along. It was, it was starting to take shape and was looking good. But, uh, you know what? I did something. I went out and, um, I killed two tigers. Yeah, I, I know I said I was trying to not kill animals, but yeah, you gotta look at their fur, okay? If you get enough tiger fur, you can make a beautiful set of armor that actually has more defense than iron. So, yeah, killing the tiger in this case, or killing two tigers, not a big deal, okay? Don't worry about it. Because look at this, I made a beautiful tiger fur helmet. People show up to this island now, they see a man coming out with a tiger helmet. They're gonna say, wow, this guy, this guy's really been living on this island. And they'll say, yep, I have been. Working hard. But you know what? There was a cost for killing those beasts. Because the next morning, I woke up to another goddamn storm. There's leaves and stuff around. Oh my god. Oh, it's pushing me out. It's blowing this way. Oh uh, god, it's sucking me out of the- No, it's throwing me- No, 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 no. No, I have way too much stuff on me. Oh no, now it's grabbing me. I shouldn't have gone after the gorilla. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm in such a bad place right now. Okay, once that was- as the storm was over, I saw that it had sucked up a tiger and launched the man into the ocean, and I thought to myself, you know what, the tiger's probably drowning. There's no way I can get this thing back to land, so I may as well kill it and get a little bit more tiger fur, okay? The idea of me in full tiger fur armor was getting, getting, getting to my head. Anyways, I got the fur, and uh, wow, I got to see a nice sunset. Look, now it's peaceful. Peaceful sunset. It's beautiful. The next morning when I returned to my house that I was building, uh, I was pissed, okay? The goddamn tornado had sucked up half of it. Okay, so the tornado ripped right through here. It, uh... Ripped up all the grass on these blocks. And it ripped apart half my house. And that's not even the worst part. Yeah, the tornadoes in this, they can suck up your chests and just launch them and you'll never see them again. And my chest was full of wood and, and, and cobblestone and everything I needed. And it was just gone. It sucked up my- No! It sucked up my chest too. Oh my god. So you know what that meant, right? Man, it was me going back into the jungle to get even more wood. Should have titled this video, I spent a hundred days getting wood, because that's what it felt like. I was getting real sick of this. And I was getting worried, I'm just gonna keep building shelters and tornadoes are gonna come and just take them away from me all the time. So I did what I did best in difficult situations. I came up with a plan. A foolproof plan. You see, tornadoes, they can't suck up stone, it's too heavy. No way, they can't, they can't pull it up. Wood they can get, but stone? Oh, no, 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 they can't get that. And what's better than one stone? Two stone. So, my idea was to build a stone roof. Two layers of way too heavy stone, so the tornado, I could, I could build whatever I wanted underneath the stone roof. The tornado could not get to it. I'd be safe, my animals would be safe, would be no problem. The only issue was that I needed way more stone now, so that meant, uh, going back down into the mines. Oh my god. That was really close. That was terrifying too. Just turn the light on and see something like that. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at my head. Oh my god. Hey, you remember that canteen I made like two days ago? Yeah, I lost it somehow. No idea where it went. I guess I just threw it out of my inventory. I don't know. It was gone, so I needed to make another one because mining? Yeah, a man gets very thirsty down there trying to, trying to pull rocks out of a mine, so I needed to do that and that meant 
More hunting! Seemed like I was spending more and more time hunting in the woods, but uh, you know what? It's fine, okay? I just went into the mountains. Oh my god. Jesus, the tornado, wow. It didn't take long for me to find some animals to kill, and uh, I got my leather for the canteen. When I got home, I, I made a huge discovery. I found out that I could craft a tornado siren, okay? And this thing, wow, this thing is good. So you put it down, and uh, if there's an emergency, like if storm's coming or whatever, this thing will give you a warning to let you know that a tornado's coming. Wow, that, that's some modern technology right there. But I couldn't make it because I needed a redstone, so back to mining. Before I went down, I stopped by this rain collector that I had made several days ago. It had been pouring rain, and I was hoping that uh, maybe I could grab some purified water before I went down, and uh... No! This thing does not work. It, it does not work at all, it had been pouring rain, and this thing was bone dry. Uh, anyways, I went mining, and I found, uh, seven, yes, seven diamonds. Wow. I'd also found my redstone and uh, a bunch of iron, so it was, it was good. Okay, so the next day I used that iron and redstone to make the storm siren. Yeah, very, very happy to get this thing. I brought it to where I was building and put it on that little little mountain peak right here so that I could know when the tornado was coming. I was really hoping this thing would help me. Day 30, I made a saw because I was getting very tired of cutting wooden planks by hand. It was taking a lot of time. I also went and checked out my man Krabba Tutu. I make sure everything was, was okay there. He was good. There's a little guy sitting in a boat. Love that. My iron uh, halberd, or whatever it's called, is breaking, so I made an iron battle axe this time. Yeah, big, big, beautiful weapon right here. I also made boomerangs. What do you, what do you think about the boomerang? I, you know what? I don't, I don't like the boomerang. I think, it's, I think it's a dumb weapon. It's dumb in real life. I was wondering if it would be dumb in game, too. So the next morning, I tested it out. Oh, yeah, that is... I'm gonna take a man down with that. Uh, on day 32, I forgot to take notes. I don't know what I did on day 32, but I did record this. Oh my god, look, another one. Look at this. This is awesome, hey, you stay there, it's good. Back to work on the old shelter on day 33, but then, uh, wow. Another storm rolled in. Oh my god. It's going. Oh my god, no, 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 oh my god. Come on, no, 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 no. This is not okay. My house got sucked up again. I, I was getting so sick of this at this point. Every time I'd build something, two seconds later, tornado comes, takes it away from me. But you know what? I thought once I got everything built, it's gonna be a okay. No need to worry. So I just repaired what happened, and that was that, okay? Yeah, next day, got right to work on that roof. That double thick roof, because I was gonna be needing that if was gonna, a tornado was gonna be hitting my house every day. I really needed to get that thing up, but there's it's running into a problem. Thirst. Yeah, I was a very thirsty man working on that roof in the hot sun. It seemed like I had to get water like every... Like every 10 seconds I was getting thirsty. I was getting very tired of that as well. Really, really had a hard time out there on that island. Hey, you know what? I lost my canteen again. What was that, my like fourth canteen now? So the next day, guess what I was doing? Back out in the jungle looking for more leather because I needed another canteen. But there was a problem. I couldn't find any animals to kill in the jungle. I was looking, I couldn't, I don't know where they went. They just like disappeared or something like that, I don't know. I found this crocodile thing though. Oh! Oh! Okay, I gotta go from the side, I think. Got him. Okay, wow. It was good, but I, uh, I needed more. And I knew where I could get it, but oh, my man, it, I did not feel good about this. Do you remember the caged animals? Yeah, they they would give me exactly what I needed. And chances are they, they probably had not roamed too far from where I released them. So I went to the poacher's camp and uh, I guess a tornado had hit it because there's a giant, giant path of destruction throughout this big ditch. And the animals, yeah, they all went into the ditch. They must have fallen in there or something. Uh, anyways, I climbed down in there and uh, oof, I did something I was not proud of. I killed several tigers while they were sleeping. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't too great there, but you know what? It's okay because I got uh, I got more tiger fur, which I used to make a beautiful tiger fur chest piece. Yeah, look at this thing. It's got good protection on it. it looked cool. It's good. I loved it. I got home. Uh, I also found leather at some point. I guess. Don't worry too much about that because I guess I just changed my mind about the canteen. I made like a infinite water source with dirty water in my house, which was fine enough because it. Wasn't as good as purified, but you know what? It would work fine, so. Where's that? 
Day 36, I went back down into the mines. I needed more stone. I needed, I need a ton of it. I don't know if I said this or not, but look, I swapped out cobblestone for stone bricks because uh, the cobblestone just, it did, it did not look good. By the next day, I, ha I had enough of it to finish my roof, which was, that was good. Okay, the double layer roof is uh, done. I also made uh, jungle bark walls and used it for window trim to give the windows a little bit more depth. I thought, I thought it looked pretty good. But I was burning through a lot of coal making all these stone bricks, and I needed some of that, so... Uh, I, sp I spent the night mining for coal and stone and stuff. It was kind of boring. The next day I climbed up on the roof to put staircases down to make it look nicer. I was a very nervous man being up there, and had a very tough time figuring out how to do it without falling. It took me like a day ju just to do these few blocks. Like a day. The next morning, I was a very hungry man, let me tell you. I had fish on the mine, so you know what I did? Walked down to the water, got out my fishing rod, and started tossing some line. Yeah, it was nice sitting there, taking in the beautiful view, and just, uh, trying to catch some fish. Look at this fish. Not- there's not a chance in hell I'm stepping on this guy. Not a- not a goddamn chance. Anyways, I found, uh... Found a- found a tree frog. Oh my god. Look at this. Look at this guy! A tree frog. How do I get this man back? I needed this man, okay? I needed to get him home, but it was night and I had no weapons. So I went home, got the supplies, uh, and I, thankfully I managed to get the man home. The next day, because I now had a frog in my house, I realized I really gotta get the windows up because I did not want that man jumping to his death. So I went and did that. Got all the windows up, got the whole place sealed up, and released the man so he could hop around the house as much as he wanted. Okay, there we go, my house is officially enclosed, meaning... My man, the tree frog... Is... Yeah, there we go, you're free to hop around now! Do whatever you want! Yeah, it's feeling good! Me and my little frog guy, living life, you know? It was good, but it, uh, wow, it did not last long, because... Almost immediately after, another storm rolled in. Okay, I hear it. Oh, there's the twister. Oh, it's coming towards the house. Oh my god, get Oh my god, they took a zombie. It's coming through the valley here. Okay. Oh no, it's taking the windows. It's taking the windows. I got... It just took a... You see the spider? It whipped the spider. Okay, the roof's holding. My man, stay down. You need to... Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to repair the windows. Hey, but it was okay. Me and my man the frog were fine. We weathered the storm with only minimal damage to the house. Hell yeah. Day 41. I had a really good idea that morning. I thought, you know what? You know that, you know that little gully or whatever it is in front of the house? I want to give my man the frog something to look at. So you know what I'm doing? I'm gonna make a, make a river. So I grabbed some buckets, I went down to the ocean and just started hand filling the buckets, bringing them right up to the top and pouring them until until, wow, the whole day I spent doing that. But by the end of it, I had a cool looking river in front of my house now, in the in the ditch or whatever you want to call it. Looked good. Okay, day 42 was back to work. It was time for Operation Wood Guy. I was heading out and I was not coming home until I had tons of wood. Aside from almost falling to my death a few times. I'm gonna die if I fall off this thing. Uh, the operation was successful and I came back with a, with a bunch of wood. The next morning, I woke up, walked right out onto my balcony and thought, you know what? It's time. And my man, I just jumped. Jumped right off, right off the balcony, into the water, and I was very, very happy I did not die, because I'll be honest, I was not sure if I was going to survive that or not, but I did, and it told me I now have a very fast way of getting down to the ocean, so that was good. I guess at some point, I found an ostrich egg. I, I did not write it down in my notes, so I can't tell you when it happened, but I just had an ostrich egg, and... Wow. If you, if you ever find an ostrich egg, don't hatch it, okay? Ah... Uh, Malha... Salada. That's not even- that's not even close to what I just- that's his name, though. There he is! Hey, hey, how's it going? Oh, look at my man sleeping on the bed. I'm starting to think I got too many animals. I'm- I'm starting to think I got four animals right now. Five animals, if you include the, uh... Crab and the thing. This might be too much. Yeah! Ostrich in my house. I'm gonna be completely honest. I did not know how big ostriches got. Had no idea. You would never think that a, a bird could get that big, but they do. And you know what? 
They're loud as hell as well. This was a loud, loud man. So that was good. Good to have that guy. Uh, anyways, I put up some torches or lamps or whatever to make the house look nicer and brighten it up, and that, that was good. The next day I went out looking for stuff, and uh, I'm gonna be honest, I forget what I was looking for, but it looks- oh no. I went- I went back to the poacher's camp and- Oh my god, no, I- I, I remember this now. Sorry, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Oh! 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 It was- Jesus! <clears throat> uh, I also found a goldfish egg, uh, and I hatched that, but, uh, you don't worry about that goldfish, okay? Okay, the goldfish hatched and, uh, just disappeared. Okay, it was the next day. So, every time I walked out on my balcony and I looked across at the opposing mountain or cliff or whatever you want to call it, I kept thinking about how cool it would be if I had a bridge between my base and, and there, and there, there was, like, another building over there. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna put up a bridge, but I don't want, like, a cube bridge, I want a rope bridge. That'd be cool, you know? So I, uh, figured out how to make rope bridge pieces, went out, got the stuff, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's way easier said than done. It took me a while to get everything and figure out how to place the blocks down, and it was, it was really stressing me out, and it was not made easier by the sound of an ostrich in my house. This, like I said before, the man did not, he was growing, by the way, he was getting bigger and bigger. And he was getting louder and louder, and he was... You never want to hear an ostrich going off when you're trying to build a rope bridge, okay? The next morning, I had to put him outside, okay? I, I couldn't stand it anymore, so I put him out on the balcony. You can't have a bird that big walking around your house. It's, it's too much. I was done with working on the bridge for a little bit, so I, I shifted focus to the inside of the house and started developing the interior a little bit more. I made a nice little tool area. Look at this. It was nice. And then, uh... Day 48 happened. Oh, no. Alright. Okay. Here comes the rain. Uh, the wind's blowing off the- I don't want this tree to be destroyed, it's such a nice looking tree. Maybe it's gonna miss us. Uh... That tree got sucked up. Oh, no, I'm losing my wall. Okay, I need- Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no,
This little bad boy right here would make it so that storms would not come near you. That's what I hoped at least. So I made this. I put this bad boy on top of my house and uh, I just hoped to God it was going to do what it said it would do. I did not want to be a man getting sucked out of his house again. No man wants to be sucked out of his own house. Day 52, didn't do much. I just worked on the back room more. And then the next day, uh, day 53, more of the same. I added the back door so I can now leave from this side of the house and uh, it was looking pretty good. The next day, I was finished working on the house, uh, for now at least. Just in time, because, uh, the day after that, day 55, a storm rolled in, and, uh, this was it. I was hoping the storm deflector was gonna do its job, and you know what? It did. It worked. The storm did not hit me, everything was fine. I was very, very happy about that. So, I just went mining. I mined through the night into day 56 and kept going. Then something happened. I found emeralds. Ooh! Emeralds. But, uh, these things are absolutely pointless. Without any, uh, villagers on the island, these are- Oh my god. Oh my god, the villagers are still in the hole. They're still in that hole. Oh my god. Those guys have been sitting on there for, like, days. I kept on mining, or at least I think I did, because, uh, my notes are not clear at all. I, I write like a four-year-old, so, I don't know. More mining on day 57, I think. Uh, Jesus, this is a lot of time for a man to spend underground. It wasn't until day 58 that I came back up. Inventory full! Wow, look at that! Now that I was done mining, uh, and I had all these emeralds, I went to those, uh, caged villagers that I, uh, may or may not have promised freedom to, but I uh, don't worry about that. I traded with them, and, uh, then I realized, you know what? Having these guys caged was actually pretty useful for me, so... Uh, I just kept them. Kept them in the cage. Decided, you know what? You guys are gonna stay down there, it's... It's fine. Day 60! Hey, look at that! I found my ostrich! Wow, really glad to find that guy. I found out I could go whitewater rafting, uh, right from my house. Like, look at this. Get in the boat, and we go down. Here we go! Kayaking! Okay. Okay. Okay! Oh, launch! There it is, baby! That's how you do it! That was absolutely beautiful. What was that? Oh my god! Look at the snake! Holy crap! Two snake eggs. Pythons. Hey, you remember that pirate ship from, uh, from a while ago? No. Today was finally the day that I was gonna take that on. So, uh, I got in my little boat, and, uh, I headed out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's pirates all over this thing. Look at them all. Oh! They're taking shots at me! Oh, you fell in the water? That wasn't very smart, was it? Yeah, jump off! Keep walking the deck! That wasn't very smart, was it? Oh, now they're fighting each other. These pirates are going, look! You guys are so dumb. Yeah, join the party! Come on, jump in! Okay, pirates are going down. There's too many of them. There's too many of them. Too many pirates. Way too many pirates. Wow, there, there was way too many pirates for a man like me to fight. I really did not want to die. I truly did not want to die, so I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna leave these guys for now, I'll come back later when I'm more equipped. This is not worth dying over. But there was a problem. I was injured, I was hungry, and it was nighttime. I was in my boat, and I was close to home, but it was too risky. I couldn't risk running up the mountain in the darkness and getting smoked by a skeleton and getting killed, so I just sat in my boat and waited for the sunrise. Throughout the night, I decided, you know what, I gotta eat something, because I'm way too hurt right now, so... I did a little bit of fishing in the water and killed some fish and was just eating them raw, enough to get me some health. Uh, but the next morning, things got worse because I was stung by a goddamn jellyfish. Ooh, I hope you don't sting me. Ow! What just happened? I was- was I stung by a jellyfish? What was that? You know what? Right here when I was stung by- I- I truly thought I was going to die. But I didn't. I survived, and I made it home, and I crafted the final piece of my tiger fur set. The legs. I was looking good in full tiger fur, yes, I was loving this. Remember that- that snake I killed? Yeah, well, it- it dropped eggs. And I thought, you know what? Why not? Why not? Why not get a snake hatch? So, I made a cage, put the snake egg in there, and bada boom. Cage snake. I did, I did not want this thing outside of the cage, slithering around my house, and then one time when I accidentally step on it, it tags me, you know? Get tagged by a rattlesnake, go down hard. Yeah, I did not want that. Even though this was like a python or something, I forget. 
Anyways, I'm getting off trial. I put those eggs in the cage and, uh, boom! Two snakes! Look at them go! Two snakes! I can't have you guys out here, so you guys can stay in the snake hole. I was still having a bit of a food problem. I was a hungry man constantly, and I wanted to do something about that, so I went out hunting. Again. Problem was, was I felt like I had... I don't know how this happened, but I feel like I nearly hunted every animal off the island to the point of extinction, you know? I needed food badly, and I had barely been on the other island, so uh, I got in my boat and went over there, and uh, yeah, I, I did some more. I killed... I did a lot of hunting on that island. Killed a lot of animals, but... Uh, <sighs> something happened. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm an I am the biggest idiot in the world. I'm such an idiot. I'm an idiot. Oh my god. I stopped looking at my screen for like three seconds to write down notes. This doesn't count. This, this does not count as a death. Alright? And I do not want to see any comments about it either, okay? No, no writing F, no, no, none of that. Just say, just ignore this part. Not my fault. Okay, uh, the next day I returned and got most of my stuff back, except for gunpowder. I forgot to mention that for the past several days I had been collecting gunpowder for, uh, from creepers. It didn't take me long to get my gunpowder back, though. I killed three creepers and headed home, but, uh, on my way back, I was, I was attacked by a goddamn great white shark. Oh my god, there's so many sharks. What's that? Oh! Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, the shark, the shark attacked my boat. The shark attacked my boat. By the morning, I... I made it back home, and, uh, wow. Okay, so you know that gunpowder I was talking about? I had a plan for it, because, uh, those pirates? I was about to blow them off the face of the earth. I used the gunpowder to create explosive arrows. Got in my boat, and sailed right back up to that pirate ship, and, uh, wow. After killing all the pirates, I boarded the ship and started looting. I got a bunch of TNT, uh, arrows, fire charges, and a whole bunch of stuff. It was good. I love this. I even slept on the boat. The next morning, I woke up, got the dispensers off the boat, and, uh, walked up to the top deck and set the thing on fire. Set it ablaze. Jumped in my boat and sailed away and just watched it burn. It was... it was good. When I got back home, I finally continued working on the nice rope bridge. By the next day, I had finished it, and I started building an expansion to my house. Yeah, look at this! Second platform in the mountains with a bridge connecting the two. It's gonna... it's gonna look good. But I noticed the wind was, uh, picking up a little bit, and it made me nervous. The wind's getting strong. Oh my god, it's making me nervous. Oh, it's making me really nervous. It was starting to look pretty good! Yes, I was actually, for once, very happy with the way something I was building was looking. But the only thing was, was that there was, like, the trees were all... were all gone. So every time a tornado came through, it just sucked up all the leaves and just left the like, husk of a tree. Did not like the look of that. Day 67! I started working on the roof of the other house, and I only fell like 45 times trying to do it. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. But you can't see if that's right or not. <sighs> okay. This is nuts. I'm dying building this thing. No sucks. <sighs> oh my god. That night, I was about to head home to the main house, and, uh, look at this. What's going on? This is... A zombie was trying to get in that door. What are you gonna do? You can't figure out how the bridge works? You can't, you can't figure out how to get across this thing, can ya? You? you were trying to break in the door there. You're an idiot, you know that? I feel like treating you like an idiot. There you go. Oh, you're gonna come too? Come on. There you go. That was worth the resources. Day 68 was boring. Just woke up, worked on the house, did boring stuff. Don't worry about it, alright? Historically, in my 100 day series, day 69 is... it's always rough for me. I don't know what it is, but, uh, some... something always happens, okay? So I was very... very cautious. It was also the time that I coincidentally decided that I wanted to finally check out that big volcano on the island. 
So the next day I got to work on preparing what I would need to to get up that volcano. It was gonna be a big journey to the summit. I started by slaughtering a lot of crabs, and I mean a lot of crabs. It, it was not a good day to be a crab, let me tell you. By day 71, I was finally ready to start climbing the volcano. It was steep, okay? It was a very, very steep climb, and uh, while I was going up, I encountered all sorts of animals, and you know what? I, I just killed them. Starting to care less and less about that little thing I was thinking about before. Like, look at this. A hawk. A zebra. I probably killed some others, to be honest, and I just didn't even bother writing them down. And I guess I was just in a hunting mood or something. Anyways, I made it to the peak of the volcano. Look at this. A sea of fire. Someone's burning over there. And now what I'll do is I'll throw the shark teeth into the volcano. Throwing the bones in. Well, what else can I throw in? Oh, these worms. All right, worms. I'm gonna throw some worms in. The goddamn volcano erupted right when I was at the peak, and my man's <laughs> this was not a good place to be. So I had to run, run like a scared animal, and get off the peak. The these lava beasts were everywhere. Okay. Eruption. Okay. Okay. The world is going okay. To burn. Okay. 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 I, I don't. I, I, okay. The no. island. It was on fire. And just when I thought it couldn't get any oh worse, one of the beasts started chasing me into the ocean. He's chasing me! What do I do here? Okay, got him. Oh my god. Look at the world. It's lost, man. I somehow managed to get home. I closed the door and I just hoped to god the fires didn't spread to my house. The next morning I was... I was very, very, was real worried about losing everything. There was a goddamn fire raging on the other side of the island, and as far as I knew, it was heading my way. So I went out of the front door, well, climbed the mountain behind me, and looked out at the volcano, and I could see that the fire was still going on in some places, but then it started to rain. For the first time in 72 days, I was happy to see the rain. It was a good day, and I ended it by harvesting some sugar cane so that I could make some books. The next day, I made 12 bookshelves. I needed more leather to make the additional three, but for now I wasn't I wasn't too worried about that. I was more focused on getting the other house built so that I could actually put down the enchanting table somewhere. So uh, I did that. I had a lot of rocks and dirt to clear. The next day, the clearing was done, so I finished the interior. I placed down floorboards and an inside roof. On day 75, I finally finished the rest of the interior, including uh, digging out the enchanting room. But I still need the leather. Lots of it. On day 76, once again, I went out hunting. The first animal I found was this alligator thing. I got reptile leather from it, which was good because I could convert it into normal leather. A lot of leather. One kill got me like six. A lot. Then I tried to kill an elephant. You ever, you ever fight an elephant? This, this man almost trampled me to death. Oh my god, this thing's going nuts! Oh! Oh! Oh my god, this elephant's gonna- Oh my god! That elephant went nuts! I ran. I, I went home. There, there was no way I was gonna get killed by a goddamn elephant. Are you kidding me? So the next day, I came back with my very last explosive arrow. And just like the pirates, I blew this man off the face of the earth. Scorched earth just blew him to, to bits. And I found out that elephants give you a lot of meat. A ton of meat from an elephant, and leather. The two, the two things that I needed badly. Look at this horse. This is a dead horse. He doesn't even know it yet. Here you go, idiot. Time to become a book. Fall off the mountain. Give me your leather. Yeah, there we go. That's some good leather. Give me an elephant. I want to kill an elephant. There's another horse there. What the hell was that? What, what the hell did I say there? Here we go. Tee the shot up. Boom! Headshot! Boom! Headshot! Boom! Headshot! Boom! Right in the ass! Ah, oh, yeah. Looks like I want an elephant killing spree. Look at- I, I'm just slaughtering them. Oh, this thing's charging at me. Can't charge at me when you're in the trees, can ya? Boom! I was becoming a, you know, big game hunter, you know? I mean, there's a man out hunting animals and, uh... Yeah, he took it a little bit further than that. Went home and I actually made a rifle, you know? With the leather I had collected, uh, I had made the last of the bookshelves, and I put them in the enchanting room, and, uh, it didn't look great, but you know what, it worked, I guess. 
Last thing I needed for the enchanting uh, room was the enchanting table, and it was time to make that, so... I had to get some lava. I had to climb the goddamn volcano again, and... But this time? This time I was bringing my rifle. Ooh, okay, here we go. The black rhinoceros. Let's try this. Oh yeah, baby, here he comes. There we go. Don't be scared. Oh, he- Oh, he blasted me off the- There we go. That elephant almost took me down hard. Jesus. Oh my god, I haven't killed a giraffe before. Here we go. Look at that. Big game meat. I was becoming a bad guy. At this point, I was just trophy hunting. I didn't even need any more meat or leather. This was for sport. You can't kill a giraffe and say it was because you needed to, okay? Anyways, I made the long climb to the peak of the volcano yet again, and, uh... You'll notice I only brought two buckets. You need three. You need three to make the enchanting table, so this was... Wow. It wasn't until I got home that I realized that I needed to do it again. So the next day, I thought, you know, I'm not going up that volcano again. So I went into the mine to look for lava, and uh, not only did I find some lava, but I also found more diamonds, hell yeah. After that, I figured I'd just keep going until my pickaxe broke, and I found a bunch of emeralds. By the time I came back up, it was the next day. Day 81, I finally made the enchanting table. Wow. Not only that, but I made a diamond chess piece. I needed more diamonds though, so I went mining again, and I was lucky enough to find more, hell yeah. The next day, I made a diamond helmet and boots. Couldn't wait to get all these things enchanted, but I still needed more levels before I could do that, so I headed back to the caged villagers with all the emeralds I had found, hoping to get some easy XP by trading. I got a couple of levels, but not as much as I wanted. And, uh, these guys, these guys tried to escape. Sadly, you guys are gonna be staying down here. Whoa, whoa! No, no, tried to get out, nice try! I need you to stay down there. Alright, day 83, I started enchanting my gear. First the diamond chest piece, hell yeah. Uh, then the rest of it. I was feeling pretty good. I spent the rest of the day working on the house. Got some lights up and finished the walkway slash balcony, roof and railings. Uh, the house was looking good. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I forgot to record on day 84, but I just worked on the house more. I dug out the, the back hallway thing. Don't worry about it. Okay, here's day 85. Uh, I was working on this beautiful window, but I... I wanted grass to spread to these dirt blocks, and I wasn't sure how to do that, so I guess that if I connected them to grass up top, that it should spread, uh, I, at least I hoped. And, uh, the next day, it started to do that, and look, the grass was spreading, hell yeah. Anyways, I, I didn't write down notes for day 86, so I'm not entirely sure what I did. But now, day 87, wow, let me tell you about day 87, okay, so, remember how I was complaining about not having a easy way up and down from the, or my house to the beach? Yeah, well that changed on day 87, I finally made this staircase that goes all the way down. It made things so much easier. Again, I should have done this before I even built the house. This was, frankly, unacceptable. It should have been done way long before day 87. Anyways, there's still a lot more to do. So the next day, I, I finally cleaned up this big dirt tower I had left for pretty much the past 80 days. Felt good about getting that thing down. I also killed some more animals. It's kind of a, kind of a boring day. Day 89, back to work on my house. It was so close to being done, I just needed to finish the back room where I put my bed uh, for the final, like, 10 days. Anyways, I worked on that. And by the end of day 90, it was nearly done, but wow. Look at that. Look at that sunset. Look at that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Day 91, just a few days left on this goddamn island, my mans. Just a few more. I did some more whitewater rafting for my house down the river, and, uh, that gave me an idea. What if I made another river? Except this time it was... It was made out of lava. Hell yeah, so I grabbed my buckets and headed to the volcano yet again. But on my way there, a storm rolled in. I wasn't anywhere close to my storm detector, so a tornado was able to touch down. And, uh, just... Just look what it did to these crabs. Oh, my man the crab! My man- Oh, he's been blown away! Oh! Hey, it's okay! Oh! You're going that way now. After that, I climbed the volcano again, and I spent the entire night digging this big hole, hoping that it would be able to attach the lava lake to the side of the volcano and have it pour out into the forest or something. I don't know. It turns out it didn't work. Just wasted the entire night doing that. Big, pointless tunnel. 
So I just did it the old-fashioned way the next day, I... kept filling buckets and pouring them down the sides of the volcano, and it... was a lot of work. It was a lot of work, and it... barely did anything. I spent an entire day doing this, and you could... you barely even notice it. It wasn't... it was just a big waste of time. I ended up just giving up and going home. The next day, I got back to work on my house. It was... I was running out of time here, and I did not want to leave this island with an incomplete house, so I thought, you know what, just focus for one day, Sean, and get this thing built. And that's what I did. Worked on the roof, the inside, everything. Got it done. Whole house, finished it that day, and... It was totally empty on the inside, did not- did not look good on the inside, but from the outside... Looked pretty good. Yeah, I was actually- I was actually pretty proud of how this house ended up looking. It was probably the best looking thing I've ever made in Minecraft, and, uh... I have no idea how to make the inside look nice, that's probably something I'll learn how to do in the future, but wow, this was... This was pretty good. Day 94, hey, you remember those, uh, dispensers? Well, you know what, I had an idea for them. I loaded one up with a bunch of, uh, cooked bush meat. So I had a steak dispenser. Could grab meat anytime I wanted, just walk by, boom. Click it, and... I got a fresh, cooked steak. It was good. This was my first time messing around with dispensers in Minecraft, and I- You know what, I liked them. I got an idea, too. Brought one out with me, along with some fire charges, and, uh... Yeah, I did, uh, I did something... Did something pretty bad with them. This isn't great. I don't feel good about that. But I mean... It's... It's pre-cooked. God, what the hell was that? That was so unnecessary at that point. What was... Anyways, uh... I found a koala, and... I liked the guy. Yeah, yeah, I wanted them to come home with me, but it was nighttime and I didn't have a lead, so I went home, slept, came back the next day with a lead, and I brought him home, and I- Yeah, I really like this guy, this is a cool guy, that's all I gotta say about him, nothing more, nothing less, just a cool guy. Though he did remind me of my man, uh, Labo Nabo, or whatever that guy's name is, and I'm gonna be honest, I completely forgot that I had a sloth. Yeah, I left that guy, left that guy in a cave for nearly the entire 100 days, and he was the entire reason I left the cave, too. So I realized I gotta get that man from the old house to the new house, but getting a sloth that far, it yeah, was not not gonna be easy. I had to clear a path and build another bridge if I was gonna get this guy here safely. But that meant more resources, so uh, the next day, I crafted a iron knife and headed into the jungle. I collected a ton of plant fiber to make string, but I got, I got pecked. I got pecked by like some bird or something. Oh! This thing just attacked me! Got it. Uh, I got, I got the, I got the plant fibers and came home and made some rope. I also made this diamond katana. Look at this thing. This is a deadly weapon right here. The next day, I got the bridge built and I went and got Labo Nabo and uh, this guy, this man was an idiot. He kept getting stuck right before the bridge and almost fell to his death. But uh, I managed to get him home. Come on, right at the door. There you go. Welcome to the house, Labo. Day 98, just two days left on this, this island. I still didn't have full diamond gear. I needed pants, so I went mining and I found more, but, uh... My mining was cut short when I heard my storm siren go off underground. That's my storm siren going. I, I don't know where I am right now. I rushed back up to the surface and expected the worst, and, uh... Everything was fine. My house was okay, so... No problems. Day 99. The final day. That was a good one. Labo Nabo had climbed onto the roof. Flynap was doing stuff. My, my koala was being weird. My man, the tree frog, was hopping around and uh, one of my snakes, I, I guess, ate the other one? I don't, I don't know what was going on there. I went back to the poacher's camp and finally released the villagers. You're all free to go. Come on out. That's one. Come on out! Just give you a little, give you a little kick. Go, run free. Get out. Go, go! You guys are all free. Looking around at all the animal cages, you know what? It made me want to go hunting. So I went to the other island, and I went on the biggest animal killing spree I did the entire time. I, I'm pretty sure I wiped out the entire island. I killed so many animals. I spent the entire day and night doing that on that island. And then as the sun rised on day 100, it dawned on me. I had become the poacher.
There it is, my mans. 100 days on a deserted island. Yeah, I was cast away, torn to shreds, sucked up by a tornado, shot, attacked, dragged, trampled. I got stung by a jellyfish, tagged by a snake, pirates came at me. You know, hey, there's a, I threw a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff on this island. And I'm proud to say that aside from two deaths that don't count, I survived the whole thing, baby. Whole thing, 100 days on the island, me. Toss me out on a deserted island in the jungle, throw storms at me, doesn't matter. I'm gonna, you're gonna, I'm gonna come back 100 days later, I'm there. They're alive, ready to go. This was good training. Because what comes next? It's gonna be even tougher.